Hi you guys, my name is Brittany and welcome back to my YouTube channel. You guys, in today's video, I have a book haul. I haven't done a book haul in a while. You guys should be very, very proud of me because I really have been sticking to my budget when it has come to like all of the homeschooling books and things like that. But I have a haul for you guys today and I cannot wait to share with you all of the books that I got. So you guys, let's go on a... <laughs> So you guys, let's go ahead and get on into it. As you can tell, I'm very, very excited. So I went shopping, you guys, at Book Outlet and Amazon. So I have my Book Outlet box right here. I'm not gonna lie, the box is kind of mangled <laughs> this time. It wasn't as like pristine as it usually is. And then I have two um, Amazon boxes that I have right here that I'm gonna share with you guys all the books. So let's start off with this little box right here so you guys I have been collecting like some summer books to go on my shelf downstairs because that's usually like the area that I keep all of like my seasonal books and things like that so I picked up under the mango tree and I never heard of this title but it just looked cute and I just typed in on Amazon I typed in like summer picture books and this was like a teacher pick book so hopefully this one is good but it just looks so cute and my favorite fruit is mangoes so I thought the kiddos would enjoy this one I picked up Jabari Jumps and this right here is a picture book that goes along with my uh, middle daughter Leia's A Gentle and Classical Preschool we're not going to uh, be on this book for a couple of units however I just wanted to pick this one up to add to our collection so when we do read this I will already have it on hand but this one looks like a cute book I haven't read it just yet so I will give you guys like all the reviews and the rundowns of these books uh, really really soon but um, this one goes along with our gentle and classical preschool and another book that I picked up really just based off of the teacher picks in on Amazon was cannonball and this one looks like a great story it says hear my song see my lines check my moves they're so fine see me soar see me fly see me swooping through the sky but watch out for my cannonball and that's what it says on the back you guys so this one probably is gonna be like a really really great read so I'm excited to add Add these new books on my bookshelf for um, summertime so hopefully the kiddos love that one so the next thing that I got from Amazon is for Brielle I picked up this new school nest vocabulary notebook for her we actually recently wrapped up like our homeschooling testing and things like that and my daughter she did really well however I was just seeing some areas that she needed to improve in and vocabulary was one of them so I picked up this school nest notebook because I love how the vocabulary is set up in this notebook so for each day she will go in with her vocabulary word and write the definition she will write the word the definition in her own words she can draw a picture if she would like on this side it says use my uh, vocabulary word in a sentence it has copy work right here and this is the word study where she has to break up the word from its prefix root and suffix she has to find synonyms and antonyms and this notebook I just really love how it is set up for her to really dive in deep when it comes to vocabulary and for her to practice it I feel like the method in which I was trying to go about vocabulary last year probably didn't work out for her so hopefully by using this and for her just to focus on like maybe one word a day that probably will be a better way for Brielle to really uh, master those vocabulary skills I also went ahead and I picked up the Sullivan Learning uh, vocabulary flashcards grade 5 and this has 240 vocabulary words so I know we probably won't go get through all 240 this upcoming school year however I looked at some of these vocabulary words you guys and I don't even know the meaning so <laughs> I really feel like these vocabulary Vocabulary words will be able to just stick with us at least through the next few years so we can work on this vocabulary and really uh, just beef up and hone in that skill in our homeschool so I picked up just this vocabulary notebook from school nest and then some flashcards so yeah now something else that I got from Amazon I got this book right here it's called explore the history of Juneteenth and this right here is a part of the story of series and I'm so excited to read this with my daughter we are uh, about to be entering like Juneteenth the new national holiday that's here and my daughter once Juneteenth was made into a national holiday last year she really wants to learn more about it and we never got around to doing it so I figured this year we can go ahead and read this book 
book like the week leading up until Juneteenth and I really love these uh, story of books. I love like all the colors, the illustrations. I love like the critical thinking. It has like geography. I really, really love the format of these and hopefully she will learn more about Juneteenth uh, reading this book. So yeah. Something else that I got that's going to be a part of like our read alouds for next year since we are entering and doing like American history is going to be Never Caught the Story of Anna Judge. And I'm really excited to read this. I think I'm going to replace this with one of our read alouds because I'm really excited about this one. So um, I went ahead and picked up this one from Amazon. And the last thing that I got from Amazon is PS PSB 11. So we read One Crazy Summer our first year of homeschooling and this year I made a mistake and we started reading like the first few chapters of Gone Crazy in Alabama and I was like Brielle a lot has happened from the first book to this one until we figured out that this book goes in between. So we stopped reading Gone Crazy in Alabama and I wanted to go ahead and pick up PS 11 so we can like uh, pick up the series where it's supposed to be at. So um, yeah I'm so happy I caught that mistake before we kept on reading on so PS 11 I'm happy I had this on my shelf for like a read aloud. Okay, you guys, now let's go ahead and get into the book outlet haul. I got like some picture books and I got some books for me as well. So let's go ahead and start off with the picture books. I picked up Stella Stellar Hair. And you guys, I checked this one out at the library for my daughters last year and they really enjoyed this. And I figured that this would be a cute picture book because we are going to be doing space this year in science. And this is just a cute picture book talking about a girl, how she is Stella who is trying to uh, get ready for like a school dance and she goes to all of like her aunts on the different planets to figure out what hairstyle is going to best suit her. The illustrations are so uh, really really cute and pretty and it's really has a great meaning at the end of it and I really feel like this is a fun way for my younger ones to uh, really talk about like space and the planets and they really love this one so I'm happy to own Stella Stellar Hair. Another book that I picked up was Just Like Me and this is going to be a part of like our poetry collection. So I'm really excited about this one right here. You guys this has a lot of just really really beautiful illustrations and a lot of poetry. So my daughter has really gotten into uh, poetry especially last year our poet was like Maya Angelou. We picked up our book Hip Hop Speaks to Children. So I just really wanted to add another like poetry book on our shelves. So I've seen this one and I thought this would be a great collection to add. It's called Just Like Me. Another book that I have is called The Harlem Little Blackbird. And you guys, I picked up the Heritage Moms Harlem Renaissance Pack and I wanted to go ahead and collect some of the main books that I'm going to need as my spine for that particular uh, Heritage Pack that I have. I know I may not get to the Harlem Renaissance this year. However, I just wanted to go ahead and start collecting the materials that I need. So uh, this is picture book right here. I think it was only like $3. So I just went ahead and got it and added it to like my book outlet uh, haul so I can make sure I have this on hand when we do do that uh, Harlem Renaissance pack. So I'm really excited to dive into this one as well. Another book that I picked up is Black is, Black is a Rainbow Color. I picked this one up specifically to teach my daughter about similes and metaphors. I read a really, really cool blog on Pinterest and it just goes on how you can teach your kids about literary devices through picture books. And this was one of the picture books that was in that blog. So I really feel like this is gonna be a fun way for me to pull out metaphors and similes for my daughter, just in a fun way. We can pull this book out during our like morning basket time. And it's not really her confined to like doing worksheet work. She can really see how these literary devices are used in actual literature so I'm really happy to grab this one black is a rainbow color and you guys this book it just looks amazing like look at these cool illustrations in here so hopefully my girls they enjoy this one okay let's see what else I have you guys I have a lot of the who was books <laughs> and I just went ahead and picked up some just because again we are going into American history some of them were not going to hit this time period anytime soon but I just wanted to have them on my shelf so I have who is Barack Obama I have who is Eleanor Roosevelt I have who who was Sojourner Truth I have who was Jesse Owens I have who was Frederick Douglass I have what is the civil rights movement. 
I have Who Is Oprah Winfrey. I have Who Was Rosa Parks. I have Who Were the Tuskegee Airmen. I have Who Was Coretta, Co Coretta Scott King. And I also have Who Was Harriet Tubman. So you guys, like I had to pick up these Who Was books because they were like, I think $2 each. And I think when I did this book outlet sale, they were having like the buy two, get one free at the time. So I'm so, so happy I picked up these. I think right now, you guys, they are doing the buy two, get one free right now on book outlet. Um, so yeah, so that is a great time for you to snag up these Who Was books. So I'm happy I have these to add to my collection. I don't think or anticipate us going through all of these within the next year, but they're really great to have on hand uh, for when you go down those rabbit trails, uh, just for you to be able to pull off your your shelf and like two bucks each is just like a steal so yeah I'm so happy I grabbed all of these now what else is in here I have where the mountain meets the moon and I picked this one up because I seen Tori from the Oglesby Han and Christy from these little sprouts they both read these for read alouds they said they were good and I figured that this would be a great like read aloud for me to add into like my homeschool especially for my daughter to get another lens in another culture and another diversity and I really hope that she enjoys this one um I just picked it up again because this one I think was only like three or four bucks and I seen it and I was like this will be a great read aloud everyone's talking about this one so hopefully we enjoy where the mountain meets the moon I also picked up this book it's called I am human I checked this whole series out at the uh, library last summer and my daughters they absolutely love this book and this book is so cute it's such an empowering story about as humans as we make mistakes we fail but all we have to do is get back up and try again and I really love the uh, message behind it and this is such a great uh, little picture book and hopefully my girls will like it that we own it now so this one's I am human they also have I am love and I am peace which were also good ones in this series as well I also picked up the secret zoo for read aloud so hopefully this one will be good I heard great things about this one as well so hopefully Brie will like this one I also picked up a classic you guys I picked up the lion the witch and the wardrobe and I picked out two books for me, you guys. Like, uh, if you guys don't follow me on Instagram, you should. But, um, you guys, I have been, like, addicted to the Bridgerton series. I watched the last recent season of Bridgerton on Netflix. And, you guys, like, I just wanted to know what has happened or what's going to happen next. So I went ahead and I picked up Julia Quinn's The Next Three Books for The Next Three Kiddos. So I already read Benedict's story. And right now I am reading Penelope and Colin's story. So I went ahead and I picked up Francesca's story from the Bridgertons and I also picked up Hyacinth's story so right now I have the I have starting from book three to book I think this is six so I'm excited to dive into these this is going to be like my summer read you know just for mama nothing to do with like homeschool or anything like that just like reading for pleasure so I really have been enjoying these books now I picked up this book right here for my niece which is called Watch Us Rise and it's about two girls named Jasmine and Chelsea who are really trying to find their place within uh, like a outside club in school and pretty much uh, the poetry in the theater clubs they only want to do poetry from the classics however these two girls they want to rise up and they want to study different forms of poetry and uh, they uh, join forces together and they form their own club and I really think that this will be a great one for my uh, niece Callie to read as she's entering high school you know you're going through that phase where you're really trying to find your own voice and I really feel like this story will be a great one for her so um, I need to give this to her next time I see her so this one's called watch us rise and the last book that I have from Renee Watson is Piecing Me Together. Um, now this book right here, I'm gonna actually read it um, for by myself first, uh, but I really feel like this book, it got really, really good reviews online. And um, I really feel like it's a powerful read. I do wanna read it for the contents and see if I feel like it's age appropriate for me to do as a read aloud with Brielle, or if I'm gonna just like hold it off until she's a little bit older. But this was only $3, you guys, I really enjoy 
Renee Watson. She is a really, really great author. I love her uh, stories that she that she has written like for the uh, younger elementaries. She wrote Ways to Make Sunshine, Ways to Grow Love. A lot of the books that my daughter really, really has enjoyed, Renee Watson has been the author. So I definitely wanted to go ahead and pick up this one. So I'm going to read it first and then see if I feel like this is going to be a real loud we will read this year or next year. So you guys, that is like all of like my book outlet and my Amazon haul. I have hidden a few books from you guys because I don't want to share them just yet. I picked up a few independent readers for Brielle as I'm piecing together like all of her independent readers. She's going to be reading this upcoming school year. So I'm going to put that video together for you. I think those are the only books I didn't show you, but um, stay tuned for that video. I'm going to make really, really soon so you guys can kind of see what Brielle is going to be reading. I know a lot of you guys love just hearing what Brie likes to read especially since um she is really an avid reader and um yeah so you guys I really hope you enjoyed today's video I really hope you enjoy seeing all the goodies that I got I have been doing good when it has come to books you guys um so as always you guys thank you so much for watching and I look forward to seeing everybody in my next one bye